Hello. Dang. Uh, it's about 6.30 a.m. And I'm honestly ready to go back to bed. I couldn't sleep last night. I was a little nervous uh, for my first class of grad school. But hopefully it turns out well. And we'll definitely see. So basically what I'm doing this morning is trying to get ready. Um, meditation, affirmations, visualization, reading, scribing, and then getting a little exercise done. Maybe 20 pull-ups and then some yoga. And then quickly I go to my YouTube, kind of edit it out, um, kind of the descriptions for 10 minutes. One about kind of stocks. Uh, for about 10 minutes and then kind of um, learn some more information about my blog. Other than that, um, I go to Independence, Ohio for the Cadaver Lab. I don't know if you want me to take a video of my drive all the way down there, um, but if you do, comment down below. I definitely can. <clears throat> Essentially, uh, I'm not taking any videos or photos uh, during the cadaver this semester uh, due to the respect of, you know, the cadaver. And then I could take photos and videos of diagnostic of injury. Um, but all depending on you guys and what you guys want. So if you want that, comment down below. Since you'll do that. So basically those two classes I have until 4.30 p.m. So I'll see you guys until then, um, but and see and give you guys a review of my first day. Uh, but that's essentially it. Uh, the diagnostic of injury is actually at Kent State University, so I gotta go from Independence all back to Kent State, <clears throat> and um, so it's gonna be <laughs> a kind of crazy day, um, but. Should be eventful. Uh, I can't wait. But I'll see you guys kind of later to kind of give you guys a review of what really happened. Wow. Today was very long. I've been in class for eight hours. And so essentially for the first class, Cadaver Lab, um, we went essentially through an introduction of how to dissect a cadaver. This week we'll kind of get right into dissecting and kind of uh, figure out how to reflect the trap, um, figure out where the, you know, lats are, rhomboid minor, rhomboid major, you know, the cis muscle, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis. We'll even look at the serous anterior, and then we'll kind of look at other muscles in the back as well. And we'll probably progress forward with the shoulder with the cyst muscles. Um, so it's going to be very hands-on, especially with this cadaver lab. Um, I can't make any videos for you guys specifically on the cadaver. So I would say uh, that if you have a chance to do a cadaver, I highly recommend it. Um, I can't really talk about it either. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, you guys got to just wonder what really happens at a cadaver. Um, acute injury of diagnosis, we went through kind of hands-on experience on how to do a splint, how to take care of wounds. Um, so basically, you know, we kind of learned about that stuff and then we went, um, like an hour and a half on the lab, uh, experience. So basically for this program is going to be very hands-on. It's going to be aggressive and it's going to be more or less learning how to take care of uh, athletes who are injured, athletes who have injuries, and how to properly do rehab, and also where exactly uh, the muscles are, you know, the origin and the insertion point. I would say for the cadaver, it really does help hone into those key points. I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, and then uh, right now, I'm just going to finish up some canes 
and then I'm going to budget. So for budgeting per se, what I'm going to do is try to figure out uh, how I can put a thousand dollars into my emergency saving account so I can honestly pay off some debt as well as, um, you know, try to pay off a car or try to save up for a car. So I have to take a car loan and then kind of figure out how I can make three to six more months um, of expenses and put that into my emergency saving account as well. And so basically I'm going off the steps of uh, Dave Ramsey because it's more applicable to me as a college student to grad student. It makes more sense. So that's what I'm gonna do so that I can be debt free and I wanna be financially free, have financial peace and not worry paycheck to paycheck basically that you know oh will i be able to pay for this will i be able to pay for this if i have that one thousand dollar buffer i think it would help and of course if i put um, money in there keep on putting money in there and having three to six month expenses just in case for those like big emergencies i think it would uh really help in the long run and then that would kind of allow me to buy stocks i love stocks and uh essentially it allows me to you know buy amazon stocks disney stocks whatever it is and then after that since i'm going to go do homework and then i'm going to go to bed and so that's a, about it for the day in the life of a grad student I'll see you guys in the next video i don't know when it will be but have a good day.